I'd been invited down to Kanto's southwestern coast to meet a dear friend of mine, Eleanor. She was a renowned marine biologist and had promised to take me diving to see some of the unique water-type Pokemon in the area. Meeting at the dock, we quickly loaded the diving gear and set out. It was a beautiful day for a dive and it had been a while since I'd actually gotten into the water. She explained that much of the area was now protected after overfishing caused a lot of damage to the local wildlife. We headed out into deeper water where her team had been studying a variety of species. As the boat came to a stop, we dropped the anchor, got on our diving gear and headed out. It was rich with life and colour. Areas like this had been decimated by fishing and pollution and had only just now begun to recover. Eleanor gestured towards a large kelp forest that had grown around the remains of a sunken barge and we headed over. Glittering schools of fish surrounded us as we swam through the enormous plants that stretched all the way to the surface. As I turned a corner, I saw a stream of bubbles and a flash of orange disappear behind some kelp. As I got closer, it swam into view. It was a sea king. In the autumn months, sea king would travel upriver to freshwater lakes for their breeding season. The males would carve out nests in boulders using their horns in order for the females to lay her eggs safely. I tried to signal to Eleanor, but by the time that she had swam over, it had withdrawn back into the leafy forest.